Hey guys, this is Mr. V, and this is episode four of topic of unit two of the Apes Review videos, Ecological Tolerance. So this video is pretty short, but um, basically the idea of ecological tolerance is that there is a range that organisms can survive in. Um, that range is uh, includes, but is not limited to temperature, salinity, flow rate. If you're living in water, sunlight. Um, others you could think of would be, you know, if you're thinking about a bird, you could think about certain altitudes. Um, you know, they have a range where they may do well and they may not. Um, certain parts of the country uh, give off what are called thermals from the ground when it's hot. And basically the ground ends up releasing heat and a lot of birds use this thermal to migrate throughout um, uh, the United States and the continents of North and South America, right? Well, um, some birds cannot handle migrating over water because there are no thermals coming off the water. So you could uh, not only just say range are limited to conditions, but you can also um, say range is limited to certain habitats as well. Okay, so what does this success depend on? So this is a really good diagram that shows a little bit about um, where this would go. So I'm gonna hide my face here so you can see the corner. And so the idea is right here, um, you've got um, this diagram that shows the range of optimum. So this is where species tend to do really well you know, they can grow, they can reproduce, um, they can uh, just generally um, be successful. And then you have the zone of physiological stress. This is the portion of the tolerance limits where either it's low or high and they can survive, but they won't be able to do as much. They might have stunted growth, they might have lower clutch sizes if we're talking about birds or fish or any other type of animal. Um, and that's where they just can't uh, do as well as if they were in the optimum range, okay? Then over here, you have the zones of tolerance, of intolerance, excuse me, and those zones are where the population just cannot do well at all, and they either, you know, die or are very stressed where they won't live very long at all. So um, success depends on this range and how wide or how, th or how narrow it can be. So some of the applications here, you can look at uh, species of, uh, most species of fish, right? So species can live in certain temperature ranges. Okay, this would also apply to salinities as well, right? How much salt there is. And so there are certain ranges where you'll see an abundance of fish. They will do very well. They'll lay more eggs. They'll grow bigger in size. Um, but then they start to stress out, and that's where they'll still be, but they just won't do so well. Population numbers tend to be down. Um, they tend to, you know, have um, smaller individual sizes. And as mentioned, their clutch sizes will be very small. So their eggs numbers won't be so high. And then of course, you've got the zone of intolerance where they just cannot survive. If it's too hot or too cold, then they won't do that. Um, climate change is causing that problem. Some places are becoming intolerant, so species are having to move um, to places where they're not usually uh, related to. So on land, a good example of this would be the polar bear. Okay, without um, you know, certain ice caps or certain places frozen over, the polar bear is gonna have to expand its range or it may not be able to survive. So here's some resources to help you. Hopefully you can look at those. Um, and so hopefully that was helpful and uh, we'll see you in the next video.